All right, let's figure out how to print a good map using OpenStreetMap at OpenStreetMap.org. Now, what do I mean by printing a good map? Well, especially when I talk about GPS all the time, like, why would you do it? Well, there are some people, a lot of people, actually, more than more than we realize that. Yes, they, they want the printed map because it's easier to follow for some people, for some people. Or they want something where they want to use GPS and a printed map at the same time so they have the big picture, so to speak. Now, what I mean by a good map is to have one that gives you all of the information that you want for the area that you are traveling in. So... That's what I'm going to show how to do here. Now, I am using the Microsoft Edge browser, but this should be exactly the same in Google Chrome because if I look at about Microsoft Edge here, yeah, this browser made possible by the Chromium open source and other open source software, meaning this is the Chrome engine. So it should be should be the same as Chrome for what I'm about to show here. All right, so let's do it. Now I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area, so I'm going to pick a portion in the northern DFW region that has everything I would want to know about where I travel regularly. Something which I could print on a piece of paper. Obviously, it's going to be printed on paper. And uh, tape it to my dashboard. Just something where I can just take the paper and tape it up and reference it whenever I need to. If I want to take a marker or a pen and scribble on it, sure. So, okay, now uh, I'm going to use the uh, zoom features here. So I'll zoom, zoom, and then I'm using the desktop version. Now this is Texas here. There's Dallas right there. Now I'm going to zoom in to the point where I start to see exit numbers, highway exit numbers. So let's zoom in a little more, a little more. Okay, not yet. Zoom in a little more. Almost got it. Zoom in again. Oh, there we go. Now, there's all the exit numbers, which for regular highway travel is quite good to know. So you can just at a glance look at this map and say, okay, where is, where is, uh, pick a highway I know here, 75, okay, where is exit 30 on US 75, so, and this is 75 right here, so mm, 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 there it is, right there, exit 30. Okay, so we've picked the region we want to print out. That shows the exit numbers. So now what we need to do is, based on where you are positionally in this map, is what we'll print. So I want the northern area of DFW. Now this is US 380 right here. So I want from here to just at the northern part of Dallas. So what I'll do is I'll put Dallas in the center first, and I'll just do a print. Now, it's not going to print. The way Chrome does it, it brings up a preview first, which is what you want. And, okay, let's see what happened here. So, they, it put Dallas on. Now, this is in a portrait. I can go to landscape if I want, but it's in portrait. It shoved Dallas over to the right side. I'm not seeing any of the northern part. And if I scroll down to this print preview, yeah, this this is not what I want. So, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to drag Dallas, this is Dallas right here, down to the bottom. I'll do another print preview, see what I got now. Okay, we're doing a little better. Dallas is now, now I'm getting a lot more map, which is good. This is the print preview part. Okay, but Dallas is still all the way on the right side. I want it on the left side. All right. So I'll take Dallas and move it all the way over here. Do another print preview, see what happens. Okay, that's much better. All right, so there's Dallas, but still too far north. I want it 
on this paper, because this is what the paper would show, I want Dallas to be all the way down here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to drag the map down. Now it's going to go off my screen, but when I print preview, it should be what I want. So I will just drag the map down a bit and print preview. Oh, that is almost exactly what I need. Almost. But I'm not seeing the top of 380 there. So I gotta drag it down a little more. A little more. And print preview. There we go. Okay, there's my map. So there's US 380. There's all the exit numbers for US 75. If I drag it down a little bit. There's Richardson and Garland, and there's Dallas down there, right at the bottom left of the page. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. And if I printed it, this is exactly what it would look like on the paper. And the nice part about it is that it does put the date of the uh, print at the top left. This is, it's like I said, this is a print preview, so it's exactly what it's going to look like on the paper and it will show the notices here and so on. So there's the, uh, the copyright notice and such. Page one of one, but the most important part is the map, other than the map itself, is seeing when was this last updated. So it is July 24, 2021, and there is 75, there's Plano and McKinney's up there. And again, Garland and University Park in Dallas. And here I get to see all the stuff. Now, the only thing that may be a problem for some people with a map like this, or to be more clear, this specific map, is that it's not showing enough road information. Like I see Texas 78 here, the 12 loop, 175, US 80. But see, I know this is US 75 but it doesn't say that anywhere on the map. Now to get that information, sometimes you may have to zoom in even a little tighter. So let's do that. So now I'm getting more, there's a farm to market roads. Now you're seeing more information. There's Texas five. It's interesting though. It's still not showing. I know at some point if you zoom in enough, it will just tell you everything. Does it say anywhere? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you just got to know. PGPT, that's the uh, President George Bush Turnpike, Texas 190. There's 289. Yeah, it's telling me every other road except the one I want to show, which is 75. But anyway, trust me, this is US 75. Well, the nice part about it is that let's just say it, it's not listed no matter what I do well when I print it I can just take a marker or a pen and just say this is 75 and then draw on it just do whatever I need to do well anyway let's put this back in the center here actually let me get back to the way it was all right so I took Dallas let me zoom back one Actually, let me show you what happens when I zoom in even tighter. Oh, this this will be what I ended on. Let's just say I wanted to really, really want to know what is right in the center of Dallas there, if I print that one out. Okay, so we'll get in. Actually, we'll get even tighter. Oh, there's US 70. Now it finally tells me US 75. So here's a whole mess of roads right here. Okay. Now, the, it doesn't name all of them unless you keep zooming, zooming, zooming. But what happens when you print preview this? What are you going to get? Okay, so it shows this. And again, this is... Now, this is a better one, actually, for a landscape view. So if I do that, and now let's go inside. Yeah, see, this one is better for, like, the landscape. Yeah, it would be. But you can pick and choose. You're only limited to how much paper and printer ink you have. <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to buy a road. I mean, you can get the road atlas if you want to, but if you just need a specific section 
of a place that you go to recently or a place you intend on traveling to. He says, well, I don't, I don't need to buy the whole road atlas or I looked at the road atlas and it didn't give me everything I needed. Well, you can get everything you need just by going to OpenStreetMap and zooming around and positioning and doing print previews. Then when you find exactly what you want, you print that sucker and then just tape it to the dashboard of your car and off you go.